So right off the bat, something is up. Because the title of Dream's video where he beats the world record is called Minecraft Speedrun World Record 1.15. Which is strange, because most of the Minecraft random seed glitchless 1.9 plus runs have been done in 1.14 because they use a strategy that was actually patched in 1.15. So immediately, I'm wondering what he's going to do. And here's where the luck starts, because the Iron Golem drops 5 Iron Ingots, which is the max. And although that's not super rare, it's still very convenient. And then, he gets a flint on the very first gravel that he digs. So, there's some more luck there, but we're not even getting started yet. He comes across a desert temple right there, which tends to be required for these runs. But here is where the luck really starts. He gets a Looting 3 Enchanted Book in the Desert Temple. Now, Enchanted Books are not super rare in Desert Temples. They have a 23.5% chance of being spawned in in a chest. However, each type of enchantment and enchantment level has an equal probability of spawning in a chest in a desert temple, which means that specifically a Looting 3 book had a 0.93% chance. So that is super lucky, and we're starting to see what he might be doing playing this run in 1.15. Now usually, after the desert temple or the village, it doesn't really matter which one comes first, but you need to do both. Usually you go to the nether. But instead, Dream takes the TNT from the Desert Temple and goes mining. And the TNT is usually used to blow up a savannah village for the wood, which you would trade with the villager. However, he's in 1.15 and he is not using that strat. So he's using the TNT to go mining, which is a very efficient way. Since 1.14, when an explosion happens, all of the blocks that were destroyed in an explosion do drop. So blast mining is a very effective and efficient way to go mining now. And as you can see here, he was at one heart in this speedrun, which is insane because this is the world record and it could have just been taken away by one more shot from that skeleton. And now what he's doing is he's smelting the iron he got from his blast mining because he is going to make an anvil to put the looting three on his diamond sword, which he got the diamonds also from the desert temple. Here, Dream's friend Zapnap, who is often featured in Dream's videos and has a YouTube channel of his own, tells Dream that he's already at 8 minutes, which the previous world record, um, Venix, at this point, in 8 minutes, he was already out of the nether, whereas Dream hasn't even been to the nether yet, which is really interesting because he must have a really good nether for this to happen. But, you'll see how he does that. Now Dream does not spawn in Fortress, however it is right there. But before he does that, what he does is he gets some XP from this quartz, because he needs 7 levels to add the Looting 3 to his Diamond Sword. Here, I'll give you $100 and your Looting 3 Sword penis. You have to win it as well. <laughs> okay. Yes! And right here he places down the rest of his TNT and ignites it, not only to get rid of the TNT, but also to pick up the blocks that it drops when he comes back, which is really smart. And since he has looting three on his diamond sword, he kills one blaze, gets four <laughs> blaze rods, and gets a, kills another one and gets six. Then you always want more than six, which is the minimum required for 12 ender eyes. He kills one more and gets eight, so he has plenty of blaze powder. And now he leaves another, he makes an ender eye, and he throws it, and it breaks, which is not lucky. But... He now he starts go making his way toward the stronghold, which is interesting because how is he gonna get all the ender pearls? Well, you see he has the the looting three diamond sword, which which would cause the drop rate for ender pearls to be higher on Enderman, which is funny because the first <laughs> the first Enderman he kills after leaving the Nether does not drop any ender pearls, which seems like it would be super rare. He's also killing skeletons along the way to pick up arrows, which he will need to take out the end crystals in the end and also damage the dragon. And right here, that witch actually hits him with slowness, which is not what you want in a speed run, which is really funny. But luckily he comes across some cows, which he's able to drink the milk from to um, alleviate his slowness in a short amount of time so it does not affect him too much. So at this point he has killed seven endermen and has eight pearls. And to fill the end portal you need 12 eyes of ender obviously. 
but there's a chance that there will be some in the portal already. But then this Enderman right here drops three pearls, which brings him to 11. And his dream says... And it's more likely that there is one in the portal than there isn't. So he throws an Ender Eye and it goes a different direction. Basically, he get, he makes he's able to guess where it is now. And so what he does is he starts digging down and he realizes that he's a little low or too low for the stronghold to spawn anyway. And so he starts building up and then makes a guess as to what direction to mine and he and he guesses the right direction and he finds this the portal room very quickly and the portal already has an eye in it which is perfect since he only has 11 eyes of ender and going into the end dream only has 36 arrows which is way less than the other password records since they've been using the villager trading strat whereas he did not he uses 17 arrows trying to take down the crystals which leaves him with 19 left and in this run with shooting his bow Dream actually has a lower accuracy percentage than Benex did in his world record that Dream just broke. Dream's accuracy percentage is 52%, while Benex's was 60%. And Benex came into the end with 96 arrows, as opposed to Dream's 36. And Benex fired 45, whereas Dream fires 36. And here Dream runs out of arrows, which, is re which really isn't what you want when you're in the end in a Minecraft speedrun. So it hits the dragon with two bed blasts and then it flies away. There's nothing he can do now except for wait for the dragon to come back since he doesn't have any arrows. And he, and he only has about a minute and a half left. Right now I want to take the time to show that while Dream is a speedrunner, he's first and foremost a YouTuber and an entertainer. And most speedrunners who upload videos of their runs don't usually add mood music so that the watcher feels what the runner feels. And I think that's really interesting. And so let's just take a second to watch this clip with the actual music that is in the video. Arrows left. Just be careful not to look at any Enderman. Yeah. Should I kill one for a pearl? I don't think so. Maybe the it's not going to come down for a while one. and you can easy, easily get one. It's going down. No, it's not. Come on, 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 get down! It's going down. So what Dream did by completing this world record run was completely revolutionize the RSG 1.9 plus category by not using the villager strat at all and getting under pearls with a looting 3 sword on his way to the stronghold and saving a whole bunch of time. Also showing that the run does not need to be made in 1.14 and so this will completely change the category and runs to come. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and if you want more content like this subscribe and ring the bell and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.